You've been hearing us talking about law of attraction and we want to say to you that law of attraction is the most powerful law in the universe. It's the law that understands vibrational frequencies and brings frequencies that are the same together. So what you're thinking is causing you to offer a vibration and that vibration is an emanation of vibration and law of attraction is finding things that match it and showing them to you. And at first, they're small the longer you think about them the bigger they get but the more you give your attention to anything the stronger your point of attraction becomes about it so if there are things or people or experiences that you would really like to experience think about them more and often you say well I don't know how I could think more about this obsession I have <laughs> I just don't know how I could think any more about it and we say but we want you and by the end of this day, we want you to really feel it clearly. We want you to be able to differentiate between whether you are obsessed with what you want or whether you are obsessed with the absence of it, because it's a rather fine line. You think you're thinking about what you want because you're thinking about what you want. You're using the word about what you want. Lover, money, lover, money, lover, money, lover, money. <laughs> it's all we're getting from this crowd. But often what's going on is rather than thinking about the experience that you really want, you are aware of where you stand in relationship to it. So the absence of it is what is dominant in your experience. And because it's been dominant for a while and you've been observing the absence of what you want for a while, now you have a belief, a belief, a belief about the absence that is stronger than your desire about the presence. And when your desire is what it is, but your belief is stronger, your desire doesn't move toward you or you don't move toward it or better said, you don't rendezvous with your desire. You have to be at least not offering the contradictory vibration. Now, did you hear those clarifying words? You have to at least not be offering. Of course, it would be far better if you're thinking about what you want purely what you want but if you can't think purely about what you want then don't think about it at all that's at least not doing something that contradicts it you see what we're getting at lobotomy would help it would <laughs> but so much goes with that <laughs> meditation helps because when you quiet your mind you stop thought and when you stop thought you stop resistance but you can't meditate all day your employer wants some of your attention <laughs> When you're driving, don't meditate. <laughs> so focus is the only answer. You have to figure out how to focus yourself into alignment with your desires. And we think that sometimes you think that there's really no point in focusing on your desire because you don't believe it's going to happen anyway. And we say that's sort of where we started, isn't it? We want to say to you that everything that you want, no matter what it is, is possible for you to achieve. There are no exceptions to that, but you cannot focus upon something that's missing and experience what you want. You have to focus upon what you want. When you talk about what you want and why you want it, you often get into that more general place that allows you to focus purely with no resistance. But when you get more specific, like, well, how will it come? Or when will it come? Or where will it come from? Or who will bring it? Or who will it be? When you ask those more specific questions to which you don't have answers, then you introduce through the specifics contradiction to your vibration and it slows everything down. When, when you talk about what you want and why you want it, you often can stay in a more general place. And so that's really the key to getting more of what you want. We know that you come because you are wanting to be part of this leading edge discussion. We know that you come because you are looking for clarification on some specific things. We know that you come because you're wanting to contribute with your knowledge and your beingness to the whole of this forum. We know that you come for the vibrational vitality that often comes by focusing from the core of that which you are. 
you just can't focus here very long without coming into vibrational alignment with who you really are and so your feelings of well-being and your feelings of worthiness and your feelings of elation and passion begin to return to you as you focus here with us just for a little while on the well-being of your life experience but we want to show you how you can focus in your life experience in specifics and still be in alignment and that is the thing that is most difficult for most of our human friends because we love you very much you always know something's coming right after that <laughs> we love you very much but for the most part the more specific you get the more resistance you introduce into the equation and that just trips you up and freaks you out because you want to be specific you do you are genius creators you are elaborate creators you are leading edge creators you did not come forth into this time-space reality to hide your head in the sand or to meditate all day in order to stop resistance you came figuring that you could manage your focus enough that you could deliberately create and specifically deliberately create because it's not fun to be less specific when you are a leading edge creator like you are in other words when we say to you if you'll get real general you'll feel a lot better and you practice it and you feel better you say yeah I feel better but I'm really bored and we say we know you are you got to be bored when you have as much data surrounding you as you do you want to be specifically focused in fact you want so much to be specifically focused that you'll choose negative over positive because you want to be specifically focused we're just here to remind you you don't have to give up positive for specific but you can't start there often you can't just jump from really 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 knowing what you don't want to really 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 knowing what you do want there's too much vibrational momentum or inertia already going so you got to slow it down get general practice the general thought the general thought of well-being are you following this well then we're done <laughs> because if you've got that then all you have to do is go practice it and so that was a very short seminar <laughs> we hope you got your money's worth it will carry you to the end of this life experience and on and on and on and on there's nothing that we could tell you that would be more important to you than what you just heard